Many ancient sites found scattered all over the planet share an enigmatic feature. A pattern of scarring left upon their megalithic blocks and often upon their walls, once left by a technology built by an as yet not understood civilization. We've previously covered the perplexing technique often used by ancient wall builds, found all around the world in the form of mysterious metal clamps. Used to seat huge stone blocks as they settled over the following years, these clamps dated to similar times within antiquity and varying in style from continent to continent somehow turned up all over the world at around the same time, strongly suggesting some form of intercontinental travel and thus sharing of technologies. Furthermore, and perhaps more intriguing, are the links that we, here on the channel, along with others in alternative research, and even funded institutes from nations around the world, have begun to notice and hopefully triangulate a signature left by this once highly advanced group of individuals. The most noticeable of these sites, and the one which initially started us upon this journey, was Long Yu Cave in China. A cave system hewn from solid bedrock, leaving no waste piles of stone anywhere marking the stone with a telltale scar pattern. These parallel marks are not just found at Longyu. Similar yet not identical marks have also been found elsewhere on Earth. A slight variation in style is what one would expect with shared knowledge. As with the metal clamps, a slight variation can be found from continent to continent. These similar marks can also be found at the ancient quarry of Yangshan, China, and Petra in Jordan, both argued for years to actually be the workmanship of a civilization far older than any noted within modern academia. These marks were then discovered to be upon the ceiling of Cave 1 at the ancient site of Mamalapuram within India, another site which in places shows levels of erosion far in excess of that which should be seen at a site dated within known history. Yet perhaps the most impressive of these marks, and most probably the ones made by the conceptual machine of origin, are the scars witnessed and now subsequently catalogued at Baalbek. These are far too large for any hand tool, made into solid granite with such precision. These also display circular motions, as if left by a modern-day tunnel boring machine. This evidence, undoubtedly unnoticed upon many more ancient sites, is clearly compelling evidence to support our channel's hypothesis that a mysterious history once occurred here on our planet, and will hopefully shed some light on the amazing people responsible for this phase of our past. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care. There are a number of artifacts, which can still be found all over the Earth, that are extremely hard for modern academia to explain, using their popularly attested and often regurgitated views regarding chronological timelines of the developments of man. Most of these surviving objects are locked away within the collections of wily individuals, people aware of the many other such artifacts which have been found, stolen, and never seen again. These guardians of the artifacts have often encountered attempted robberies, switch tactics, and often offered large sums of money to allow these artifacts to just simply vanish. Yet fortunately, many still cling to existence thanks to a handful of individuals guided by a moral duty to share them with the world. And our next artifact could be seen as such an object. Known as the Dashka Stone, it is a controversial artifact that it is believed by some to be the guidelines used by the quote, architect of the world. Also known as the map of the creator, the Dashka Stone tablet has baffled researchers since its discovery in 1999, and as impossible as it may seem, a number of specialist Russian experts, after in-depth analysis of the stone, have concluded that it is indeed a stone map that is as much as 120 million years old. Created from a bird's-eye view, presumably from space, the Dashka slabs depicts in detail the peaks and valleys of the Ural Mountains. Although mainstream academia will simply deny the possibility of the Dashka's true purpose and indeed age, many who have researched, mapped, and analyzed the slab have concluded that it is indeed somehow authentic and well over 100 million years old. Initially discovered by archaeologists from the Bashkir State University, it was actually found within the Ural Mountains of eastern Russia. Researchers were understandably stunned when they realized that the tablet displayed a highly accurate topographical map of Bashkiria, 
a specific area of the Ural Mountains at a scale of approximately 1 inch to 1 kilometer. The map of the creator also retained clues to its artificial origins within its structure, comprised of three layers, each of which strongly suggesting to geologists that it did not originate in nature, but was indeed artificially created deep within antiquity. The first layer is roughly 7 inches of a primitive cement ceramic compound. The second layer is roughly 1 inch thick made of diopside glass, enriched with silicon, and the third layer, a mere few millimeters thick, is made of a calcium porcelain mixture. Who created the Dashka slab? Did they really create it over 120 million years ago? Like many specialists have reluctantly become convinced is the case? It is unquestionably a remarkable object, and one which deserves a lot more attention. Many researchers throughout history have concluded that there was once an advanced race of humans, which were in worldwide communication with one another. Many methods for building, religious figures, and even legends have managed to cross the oceans of Earth over its long life. But the most compelling evidence for this intelligent and extremely advanced ancient civilization is the alignments discovered in regards to ancient sites. With the use of modern technology, we have unraveled just how vast their knowledge must have been. For example, the Great Pyramid is aligned with Machu Picchu, the Nazca Lines, and Easter Island along a straight line around the center of the Earth, with a margin of error of less than one-tenth of one degree. Other sites of ancient construction that are also within one-tenth of one degree of this line include the capital city of ancient Persia, the ancient capital city of the Indus Valley, the once lost city of Petra, the ancient Sumerian city of Ur, and the temples at Angkor Wat, among many others which are just out of alignment. Many ancient ruins demonstrate that the people who constructed them had a special interest in celestial alignments and mathematics, also that they possessed a spot-on ability of judging geographical accuracies. From north to south, there is no doubt that past civilizations were involved in incredibly complex calculations and architecture. In Giza, for instance, there are many examples of attention to spatial coordinates. The Great Pyramid's faces are aligned with the four cardinal directions almost perfectly. In fact, they are less than 0.2 of a degree off perfect alignment. More and more evidence is also surfacing in regards to the suspected use of power tools. Numerous drill marks have been discovered within ancient sites over the past few years, even including evidence of misstarts from some form of high-powered tool and accidentally split stones apparently from some form of drilling. These discoveries not only confirm a past advanced ancient civilization here on Earth, but insinuates that they were in fact aware of electrical appliance and maybe even an advanced form of travel that we have yet to discover. The floor space of the Great Pyramid of Giza is approximately 3,023 feet and the height is 481 feet. Its measurements represent the northern hemisphere of the Earth on a scale of 1 to 43,200. Though controversial, some interpret this number as exactly 20 times the precessional number of 2,160, representing the precession of the Earth through 20 different zodiac constellations. Interestingly, the ancient Mayan culture was also heavily implicated within the Alignment, a civilization who displayed advanced celestial knowledge, including a deep fascination with the ages of the zodiac, with a life calendar ending around the beginning of Aquarius. Another intriguing alignment is the 6,666 kilometer mystery. The distance between various monuments, Kailash to the North Pole, Kailash to Stonehenge, Egyptian pyramids to the North Pole, Stonehenge to Devil's Tower, Stonehenge to Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle to Easter Island, and Easter Island to Tazumal are all at a precisely 6,666 kilometer from one another. Just what exactly were these ancient civilizations up to?